Hello, automotive students. This should concern my 1102 class and the 1165 classes. I just finished a lube oil filter on the, my bike, and I'm going to go ahead and change the brake fluid. So let's zoom in on that master cylinder a little bit. Extremely careful with the brake fluid. You don't want this to get on any of your paint. If it does, then you've got some trouble there. So, all right. I like using a vacuum bleeder. Uh, vacuum bleeder works fairly well. Put an air hose on this end. Squeeze the handle. And you're going to create a vacuum in the bottle. And then we'll either have this over top of one of the bleeder nipples, or in this case. I'm going to remove all the old fluid from the master cylinder so that I don't uh, push it down through the rest of the system. Okay, so I've got them attached. Uh, be careful, when you squeeze the trigger, you're going to blow exhaust out through here. I should say your air is going to exhaust through there. Uh, depending on who used this last, they may have ended up with a little bit of brake fluid up in this area, so you don't want to spray a mist on top of any type of paint. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up now with some dot four. The rubber cap here. Alright, there's that rubber cap's out of there. And I'm going to need to break this loose. Now, depending on how rough these things are, sometimes it, it helps a little bit if you attempt to tighten it before you, you loosen it. Sometimes it doesn't. It's something I used to get into the habit of doing. Alright, that cracked loose, that's good. And I don't know if you caught it or not, but there was a little bit of food starting to come out. So, in some cases, you can gravity bleed brake systems without the use of pressure at the reservoir or vacuum as I'm using here. Now, as I turn on the vacuum pump, I just squeeze the handle and you're locking in. This is going to get real noisy. So, I'm going to have to keep an eye on that reservoir to make sure that we do not run out of fluid. If we run out of fluid, then we're into a big mess and we're probably going to have to get into a pressure bleed to remove the air that I put in because I ran it out of fluid, so I don't want to do that. Alright, air is on, straight the vacuum. I'm going to crack this bleeder loose. And we are drawing fluid. I'm going to keep it on the reservoir, and as it gets low, I'm going to add some more to it. I'll do this about three times for the right caliper and then about three more times for the left front caliper. Then we'll move on to the rear brake system. Okay, we're going to go ahead and bleed the rear brake system, caliper and the master cylinder. And I'm going to do what I did in the front master cylinder. I'm going to take my vacuum bleeder and I'm going to draw all the old fluid out of this rear master cylinder. Now the rear master cylinder is located right here. I kind of popped him out of there. There that is. So, Okay, cap here. Open the cap here. 
and suck all of that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this vacuum on. Make it a little easier for me to do this. Alright, I'm going to pull the cap off. I got my vacuum bleeder going. I'm going to remove what fluid is in there. Okay, I'm now going to add brake fluid to the master cylinder and we add some. I'm not going to put it clear to the top because that rubber cap is going to display some of it. Hopefully, we'll get it in without making a mess. Alright, and this one's going to be a little more tricky watching. Because I need to put him in there while I go over and break the bleeder nipple loose. I need to pull the rubber cap off of this bleeder. Alright, we need to break him loose with this wrench. There he is. i put my hose on there. Time to make some noise. All right, I've got the reservoir full. I've got the brake bleeder over on uh, this side of the bike, so it's going to get extremely noisy. Three or four more times since this is such a small reservoir compared to the front and then I'll be pretty confident that we've got all of the old brake fluid removed from the rear braking system. Turn the vacuum off. I'm going to refill this, secure it while I'm over here. And I'll go close the bleeder nipple. All right, I'm going to close the rear bleeder nipple. And I'll apply a little vacuum to it as I pull the hose off. Okay, next thing, let's get the scan tool. Okay, I've got the GS911 connected to the bike. It's a K series. K1600 GTL. I'm going to go into analog brakes, service functions. If all goes well. I'm going to do an ABS bleed. All right, now I'm going to hit run function. Okay, so it's telling us to bleed the base brakes first, and that's what we did. Now we're going to activate the ABS control module and the ABS hydraulic module. It's going to activate the pump and all those valves and things, accumulators inside the hydraulic module. Hopefully it's going to eject any type of old fluid from there into the base system. After which we're to bleed the base system a second time. Then we go back into this ABS bleed or flush and it's going to do that a second time. It's going to energize the pump, the ABS module, the hydraulic control module, and again Anything that's left in there, hopefully old fluid, if there's any air, it's going to eject that out into the base 
system where we'll bleed it then a third time. Hopefully things will be good and take it out on the test drive. All right, let's begin this. All right, now it's telling us to activate the brakes. So we'll go ahead and hit this for two seconds apiece. There's one. That's one thousand two. All right, I've done it more than it wanted. Let's try the foot brake, rear brake. There we go. Now, you can't feel it. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but as I do that, you can actually feel a pulsation in the hand grip and in the pedal. All right, it's telling us to bleed the base system again, so I'll go ahead and bleed the base brake. I won't bother showing you all of that. You've already seen the bleed once, and then I'll come back and we'll do the ABS flush a second time. Okay, back to bleeding the brake system. Now I'm going to do the continue to flush. So, do the ABS system one more time. All right, again, I'm going to apply the handle. About 1,002. About 1,002. About 1,002. I'm going to hit the brake pedal. About 1,002. Done. It's telling me to turn the key off. All right, let me turn the key back on. All right, this part's done. Now I need to bleed the base system one more time, and then we'll be finished. 